Hello, my name is Charlene Adams, and I'm here to introduce my paper on circulating glutamine and Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating neurodegenerative disorder. Its worldwide prevalence is over 24 million, and it's expected to double by 2040. Finding ways to prevent its cognitive decline is urgent. Mendelian randomization is an analytic instrumental variables technique that is similar to a randomized controlled trial. Instead of randomizing the allocation of treatment, genotype is used for quasi-randomization. In this procedure, instruments are genetic variants, and I chose genetic variants strongly associated with glutamine, which is abundant in blood, capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier, and involved in a metabolic cycle with glutamate in the brain. These genetic variants for, that are strongly associated with glutamine are used in the statistical model instead of glutamine itself, and this helps reduce confounding and reverse causation that plague observational studies. The results of this Mendelian randomization of circulating glutamine and Alzheimer's disease showed a protective effect. These findings lend credence to the emerging story supporting the modifiability of glutamine and glutamate metabolism for the prevention of cognitive decline. More circulating glutamine might mean that more substrate is available during times of stress, acting as a neuroprotectant. Modifications to exogenous glutamine may be worth exploring in future studies to prevent and or treat Alzheimer's disease. Thank you.